Okay, so going back to our discussion, um, here I am showing you some uh, uh no no the, the um, research uh results from UNFPA United Na Na United Nations Populations Fund uh, in the Philippines. Now they have a research on um you know risky behavior among this youth, particularly on um yung sa uh sex no. Um, may gusto ko lang i-share yung uh, some some data here because they are very important in the discussions that we are having about gender-based violence. So we all know that we are one of the top countries, if not the top country, in terms of um yung rise sa teenage pregnancy, no. And uh, isa sa mga nakikitang dahilan ay you know yung yung um engagement uh ng uh, mga kabataan among each other, no. Uh, at dito sa data na to, sa research na to, nap 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 nakita no, dun sa respondents nila, na Filipino girls, dito, uh, Filipino girls might have experienced early sexual intercourse without consent. No? Kasi mula dito sa mga pinakita, uh, may nakita dito, they, uh, lalo na sa mga babae, no, they didn't want the first time they had their first intercourse. No? So sa definition, technical and legal definition natin ng rape, without consent no so sabihin na rape yun, no uh, and that's very saddening even among our youth no um mga kabataan natin na maaaring nabubunti sila ng early tapos uh, first encounter nila out of rape out of sexual violence no uh, at maaaring hindi kabataan yung uh, mga lalaking uh, nakabuntis kasi meron dito sa next 70% ng uh, uh, nakabunti sa adolescent mothers ay older than 19 years old. So, meron talaga doon power struggle, meron hierarchical uh, relations. no Kasi kung um, bata, like 13 to 15, no? 15 to 18 years old na nabubuntis, uh, tas ang nakabunti sa kanila ay older than 19, no longer children. So, yung power struggle nandun. And then, uh, if these are um caused by no consent so that's actually rape if we are to conclude uh, on it no on the basis of the ano, interpretation natin sa batas and that's a very saddening uh, this is a very saddening uh, research result at ito yung mga bagay na kailangan natin pinag-uusapan no um kasi uh, saddening sila pero these are the reality these are the uh, reality on the ground that we have to to be discussing uh, at hindi sila dapat dinidismiss na ah, sex among youth, ayoko marinay, eh, kailangan ano natin yan. Uh, talagang no sex discussion sa mga kabata. Eh, nang nangyayari siya eh. So, if, if you don't discuss it, lalo na among adults, even among youth, no uh, hindi natin masusugpo ito. No? Hindi masusugpo ang isang bagay by not talking about it. Because if we don't talk and discuss about it, we won't um, uh, uh, we won't ident we won't be able to identify and uh, think of um interventions no at nakakatuwa marami kabataan grupo organizations and even schools have uh have requested uh several trainings no ako personally I've, I've been requested to conduct such trainings even among youth themselves natutuwa ako ganun because this siguro they see no yung mga kapwa nila kabataan kaklase batch meets na ganito yung nakikita nila nangyayari and they would like to to intervene no and uh, gusto nila uh, among themselves ay eh, may magawa sila and i load um yung mga ganitong mga ano no uh, ganitong mga initiatives so sana tayo din adults no although marami ako nakita sa participants natin na sa 15 to 19 years old as well no um uh, makapag-isip tayo ng mga pamamaraan and increasing awareness is one Having this discussion is one, no? Uh, mas maging aware tayo ano ang uh, mga uh, kailangan gawin, safe sex, piliin ng mga uh, maayos na mga kaibigan, sa mga eskwelahan may responsibilidad tayo. And syempre bilang mga magulang at pamilya. No? At iba-iba pang mga sektor na ginagalawa natin. And this is again, no? Consistent with what we discussed dun sa Agents of Gender Socialization. Okay. So, yung mga binanggit ko, generally, they are happening, you know, GBV happening uh, in normal times, both and all. If sabihin, walang, walang pandemia, walang emergency situation, walang disaster. Pero nakita rin sa mga datos, sa mga studies, no? uh, this came from um, 
yung sa reproductive health, uh, yung inter-Asian standing committee na tumataas, mas nagiging vulnerable ang mga women and children, lalo na kapag may disasters or emergencies. And nakita na rin natin yan na nangyari. I've been involved in the Yolanda efforts uh, noong 2013 onwards. Uh, na-assign ako sa, hindi ko na lang magiging ko sa region dito sa Philippines. Marami kasing na, naapektuhan na ng Yolanda. And I've seen, no, tumriple yung dating datos nila ng child abuse, sexual violence, GBV, kahit adoption na hindi legal, no, illegal adoption, no, no nagkaroon ng Yolanda. At that's also the same uh, situation yung nangyari, may narinig tayo mga um, reports then even nung nagkaroon ng Sambuanga siege. Every now that nung nagkaroon kami dito ng Taal Volcano, wala na kami narinig na ganong reports. Pero yan yung mga ilang um pin, uh, tinray namin i-prevent no by providing yung child friendly spaces women friendly spaces ensuring that the evacuation center is well lit hiwalay ang CR na uh, ng babae at lalaki and functioning may security uh, ano na, uh, na na merong awareness about GBV in relation to emergencies yung mga ganun no kasi na-exacerbate dahil nga um, nagkaroon ng disaster ng emergency nagkagulo no uh, hindi functioning ang maraming mga bagay lalo economic uh, na mga sitwasyon so um tumataas din yung risk and harm of uh, related to gender based violence no um yun. community support systems and protection mechanisms breakdown kasi ang um, usual na priority ay safety quote and quote safety na makalayo doon sa disaster pero hindi napansin na ibang safety concern pala din yung nakatunghaya no I'm happy that uh, many LGUs are already very much aware about it uh marami mga camp managers evacuation centers evacuation camps ang nagke-create nga ng child friendly spaces women friendly spaces where women for example can freely breastfeed their children um during disasters no Uh, na hinihiwalay ang mga pamipamilya o mga babae, yung mga ganyan kung, kung sila'y separated, uh, kung wala doon yung um, mga families. No? May mga, marami ng mga ganyang efforts ang marami LGUs and nakakatuwa na yun, unti-unti tayo mas nagiging aware sa mga maaring gawin kasi maraming pwedeng magawa tungkol doon, lalo na dito sa disas, uh, kapag panahon ng emergency. Okay? So, meron ding um, datos patungkol naman sa violence against women and gender-based violence in general across life stages, no in various life stages, na makikita natin na hindi lang pala sa um, uh, early adulthood, yung adulthood nagkakaroon ng uh, violence against women or gender-based violence, pero across the whole entire life uh, cycle, no baka wala na lang akong oras na isa-isahin. Pero if you could see here, as early as infant stage, ang mga babae sa iba't ibang uh, sa maraming mga kultura kapag nalamang babae yung magiging anak uh, they choose to uh, abort the child because that child is a girl no at hindi nila nakikita siya bilang uh, eh, uh, may economic value and social value as well no tapos sa mga sa kabataan yan sa child abuse child sex trafficking maraming ganyan sa teenager ayan yung napag-usapan natin about early pregnancy due to um a rape out of uh, um sexual violence na syempre tumataas ng dumataas hang, habang dumadami yung exposures niya from a young adulthood to adulthood at uh, sa pang nakakalokot even until the early elderly stage no hindi pa rin uh, nakakawala kahit matanda na sa dulo na kumbaga ng life uh, stage no life journey ng isang tao may marami pa ring nag uh, uh, ano no nagkakaroon ng mga concerns tungkol sa violence against women or gender based violence so it's really a whole life cycle life stage um problem okay so yun ang uh, maraming bagay tayo sa tungkol sa violence against women so may nagtan may mga nagtatanong at nakita ko very important to discuss it also tungkol naman sa violence against men no paano naman ang mga lalaki does it exist Actually, it exists. Yes. Uh, meron tayong mga data sa Philippines. For example, this one. This is a baseline data from uh, on the violence against children naman ito by Council for the Welfare of Children and UNICEF. No, Although this was in 2015, mm-hmm. I think baka meron lang ako na, uh, baka hindi ko lang nakita sa existing data natin. Baka meron na rin itong mas updated data. Pero dito napakita na even among boys, although dito sa itong datos na to ay 
both girls and boys. Pero dito, nakita na even among boys, 13 to 24, no, one in four among them ay uh, nakakaranas ng any form of sexual violence in any setting, meaning kahit sa school, kahit sa bahay, kahit sa shelters, uh, kahit sa komunidad, no. So, uh, mataas na bilang to, no, one in four, no, 25%. No, at um may mga nakikita rin tayong mga uh, anecdotes, uh, personal narratives din na uh, um may nagre-report, no, may uh, may nagpapa-interview na uh, they have been ab- abused, no, both as um, yung intimate um domestic uh pa- by the intimate domestic partner, no. Pero meron ding in general na uh, violence against men general uh, na term uh, uh, na generally by kunyari by um uh, um perpetrated by men as well no at nang iba pa no ang problema natin sa Philippines um hindi ganoon ka well documented hindi ganoon ka well researched which i will discuss uh, in a little while no sa ibang bansa naman like in the US they have this data by the CDC no yung ano nila on health uh disease um approximately sabi dito 1 in 10 men in the US experience uh our contact uh, sexual vi- uh, experience contact sexual violence physical violence and are stalking by an intimate partner during their lifetime no tapos in you know, a more ano naman sa intimate partner violence mismo just similar to our ano no uh, uh, yun sa domestic violence na law or in 9262 although ito uh, against men about one in three men experience contact sexual violence so same physical violence by an intimate partner no So uh it happens nangyayari siya. Uh and uh, ito yung isa sa mga dahilan siguro at nakikita kong mga nagiging ginagamit ding sorry sa term na ginamit. Pero the, the, the term uh, the reason why some uh really uh, propose yung kanya going genderless yung domestic violence na law no. Kasi wala naman daw um Uh, hindi namimili ng gender ang gender-based violence. Siyempre, on, at the onset, <laughs> kaya nga tinang na gender-based violence kasi ginagawa yan um, yung violence or yung abuse on the basis of your gender. Kaya nga tinawag na gender-based violence. Um, punta tayo sa next slide, which I, ano, I, I think uh, from my own analysis and studies and observations and of course consultations with a lot of uh, stakeholders as well, kasama na rin yung ating mga kasamang nagsasagawa din ng gender advocacies natin, no? Patriarchy is still the culprit, no? Um, kasi, and lack of respect for human rights, even uh, yung sa tinatawag nating violence against men, no? Um, kasi, siya rin ang dahilan kung bakit wala tayong masyadong datos because uh siya yung pwedeng nating masisiyo why some men do not report no kasi um uh, maraming lalaki oh so, sorry sa mga ano no pero y- yun no mula sa mga nababasa nating reports maraming lalaki nag uh, ano na lang uh, na um, baka yun yung fear of stigma na kapag nag-report sila ay uh, bumalik sa kanila the same reason why some women do not report as well no and patriarchy is still the culprit there no uh, it, ito rin yung dahilan kung bakit uh, some authority uh, authorities do not listen or believe in complaints um by men that they have been um violated by their either by their partners kung hindi man by their partners by other men also no patriarchy din yun no kasi nakikita ha kalalaki mong tao um bakit hindi mo kaya lang uh, hindi mo kinaya ipagtanggal ang sarili mo nagpakaya-kaya ka nagpaka-under ka ganyan at may mga na, narinig na akong reports na ganyan no na they try to report but the authorities actually uh, said those things no and this is still patriarchy no ito yung binabanggit nating gender fair language no uh, may mga nagtanong about it these are some examples of it yung yung ating Um, pag uh, mga binap, mga sinasabi natin na nag uh, nag uh, reflect ng mga certain set of expectations and behaviors natin sa uh, based on gender no na dahil ganito ka lalaki ka dahil babae ka ito yung set of expectations and behaviors sa iyo no uh, which of course ay hindi dapat ano so dapat may, hindi man hindi gender neutral ang tawag doon 
dapat gender responsive siya because they respond dapat dun sa mga pangangailangan. And that we will discuss further sa gender mainstreaming mechanism sa ating uh, week 4, okay? Yeah. Although nabibigay tayo ng paunti-unti ang mga examples, you could actually have an advanced reading sa atin, no? dun sa mga uh, resources natin, especially in the internet. Ano lang tayo, pili lang tayo ng maayos. PCW website has a lots also. No? Although nakapagbigay rin ako ng mga ilan na rin. And uh, it's still patriarchy, which uh, uh, also uh, ano, no, is the culprit. Why people generally hurt or offend others. They feel they need to have that power. And they feel that they have to use that power over another person. And that's actually patriarchy still. No? Uh, you're, you're putting someone in a privileged situation. Yeah. So generally, plus lack of respect for human rights. No? Yeah. So these are the... Ano, no, the, the, the the important and essential things that we have to discuss when we talk about uh yung sin- nagtatanong about violence against men ako hindi ko na reduce o dinid dismiss yung uh, possibility uh, kasi meron talaga tayong nakikita na naririnig tayo na babasa tayo but i just don't like the reasoning of uh, others na um Uh, hindi magiging pantay uh, ang gender uh, ang gender hindi natin ma-achieve ang gender equality if we are Uh, focusing on women alone. Uh, well, it is true na kailangan mag-respond din sa uh, concerns about men. Pero hindi rin dapat isinasawa lang bahala. Kasi uh, mas dahil dun sa ganong reasoning, na, na didismiss to lo, yung pangangailangan talaga to have women focus laws and policies. You know, RA9262, yung anti-Vaucy law, and the other laws that you will be discuss, that uh, we will uh, be discussing next week. Magna Carta of Women, anti-rape law, um, at iba pang mga batas patungko sa violence against women. Uh, you know, they have their reasons, they have their uh, roles, they have their, their uh, the appropriate and grounded reasons why they have been, uh, they have been uh, enacted no, into law. Uh, yung pagdismiss mo sa pag uh, pagdismiss natin sa sitwasyon na may violence against women at hindi maa-achieve ang gender equality at sobrang ng we uh, empowered ang women dahil sa mga batas na yan and that's not uh, that's not fair at all because they are perform the this laws are performing their you know their, their um uh, their roles in the society no if we think that we need to have uh another set of law to protect uh, men naman, why not? Di, di, let's propose a set of laws for for men to be protected, uh, to prevent um, violence against men without having to, you know, put down uh, good laws just to satisfy yung ego ng iba na sinasabi na we cannot create a gender equal society if we are just focusing on women alone. Gaya na binanggit ko previously. Ayun sa goal of uh, gender equality, uh, uh, gender sensitivity, uh, even do sa women empowerment. Nagbibigay tayo ng pagtatangi. It's not a form of discrimination. That's what we need to do as an intervention because that's what the society needs. Because that's what the situation tells us to do. Diba? Kung gusto natin magkaroon ng pantay, na uh, magkaroon ng gender equality, kailangan muna natin tingnan ang sitwasyon natin. Ano bang sitwasyon natin? Kailangan natin i-accept yung fact that women are still in a more marginalized situation in all aspects. No, Maraming, maraming pagkakato. But, and, and I hope the data that uh, that we have provided is a proof to that. No, At para ma-achieve natin na mapataas sila pareho, di ba? hindi pwedeng pareho lang ang ibibigay mong focus sa pareho. Aangat sila, pero the gap is still there. So what can we do to provide necessary uh, to provide uh, services, 'di ba, para ito ay mas umangat? Ay mag-focusing, 'di ba? Para aangat ito, 'di ba? At hopefully mabawasan o mawala yung gap. And um ayo, I have no uh, nothing against um uh, sa pagke-create ng mga batas to protect men. Sige, but for the right reasons, please to address the necessary concerns, no? Uh, and not to downplay Uh, violence against women that is really happening all over, not just in the Philippines, but around the world. Hanggat may narinig tayo na nabibiktima na rape, ng sexual harassment, na pinagtatawanan ang mga kababaihan sa mga sinasabi, na ginagawang joke, uh, 
uh, violence against women will be there. At kailangan lagi tayo nakabantay para doon. In the same manner na maaari meron ding violence against men at kailangan rin natin silang protectan. Again, it's not a competition. Diba? Kailangan lang nating uh, mag-address properly, maging grounded and responsive yung ating mga uh, uh, yung ating mga responses. So we need data and documentation. No? So if we feel that we are We have observed that we know people, both men and women, para sa, uh, para sa mga nangyayari. So, dapat uh, iaana natin sila. No? Kailangan natin uh, gawan ng uh, datos and documentation, proper responsibility, uh, proper response. How about intersectionality? Again, yun nga, yun yung binabanggit ko. Intersectionality, ito lang yung sinasabi natin. Magkakaugnay ang mga bagay-bagay. And gender is one of the major uh one of the major factors why some situations ay mas nakaka-exacerbate sa kanilang sitwasyon no at uh, uh, I think and I hope that the discussions there in the video were was able to provide such no pero maganda ring tingnan pa rin natin no for example uh merong sitwasyon tayo na may mga pagkakataon talaga na Uh, ang isang mahirap ay mahirap na talaga ang buhay, no? mahirap na pamilya. No? Pero mas na-exacerbate ito yung kahirapan nila kapag sila ay may disability, kapag sila ay bata, pag sila ay babae, pag sila ay indigenous people, pag sila ay nakatira siguro sa rural area na mahirap ang access to services. That's intersectionality for us. No? Yung pagkakaugnay-ugnay na mga uh, factors, no? na mga uh, important um, uh, uh, themes ng uh, ng buhay ng isang tao no and gender is part of it yeah. and what do we do to address uh, violence against women and gender based violence yon ang ating pagtotoanan ng pansin sa next modules natin uh, pero at the at the um at the ano um sa, sa mas maanong uh, mga bagay mabilis kailangan natin laging balikan yung problem tree binanggit ko kanina root cause patriarchy lack of human rights no respect for human rights so if we would like to uh, really make a um, great impact in terms of intervening on gender based violence malaki ang pangangailangan para sa education para sa training gaya ng pinag-uusapan natin ngayon implementation of laws na pag-uusapan natin next week okay at uh, lagi rin natin ililink yung mga agents of gender socialization na diniskus natin previously kasi sila yung patuloy na uh, source of information and uh, learning natin socialization natin on the gender roles gender stereotypes that might lead to uh, gender based violence so i hope i was able to provide necessary response i like the interest that you have for our uh, for today's module and even to the previous module so Let's keep on learning and unlearning and relearning. See you in our next module.